Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Saturday the 25th of July 2020 and we're publishing our gold and silver weekly update for the week ending the 24th of July. Now yesterday we published a video entitled Disruptive Innovation in Financial Services the Result of COVID-19. And on Thursday, COMEX contracts rocket as gold reaches for $1,900 and silver surpasses $23. And if you haven't had an opportunity to listen to these, because certainly yesterday's went out quite late, we've placed a link in the description box below. Now, gold rose $92 last week from $1,799 to 1902 having hit a high of 1,906 and a low of 1,806. A rise of 5%. In sterling terms, gold finished the week at £1,487. That's up £47. And in euros, it closed at €1,632. Euros. That's up €48. Euros. So the discrepancy between 47, 48 and 92 is, of course, the result of a weakening US dollar. Silver rose $3.42 from $19.37 to $22.79, having hit a high of $23.27 and a low of $19.27. A rise of 17.6% on the week phenomenal rise. In sterling terms it closed at £17.81. That's up £2.41. And in euros it closed at €19.55. Euros. That's up €2.60. Euros. The gold to silver ratio fell dramatically from 93.4 to 1 to 83.5 to 1. Having hit at 1.81 to 1. The Dow Jones closed on Friday at 26,469, down 182 points on the day and down 202 points on the week. The S&P 500 closed at 3,215, down 20 points on the day and down 9 points on the week. And the Nasdaq closed at 10,363, down 98 points on the day and down 140 points on the week. So all of the exchanges down, but not that dramatic. Brent crude closed at $43.34, down just 20 cents on the week. And WTI crude closed at $41.34, that's actually up 75 cents on the week. The dollar index stands at 94.43. That's down 1.51 points on the week. Quite a significant reduction. Well, what a week for precious metal prices, and especially silver. Frankly, even we were surprised at the speed of the rise. Not so much of the fact that gold reached $1,900. We actually, to some degree, forecast the potential for it to hit that level, though we were more comfortable, admittedly, within... $1,850 level, and we did expect silver to hit $21, but the speed which it happened to rise not just above 21 but to 22 and then to 23 which is even higher than that which the Silver Institute suggested would happen. In fairness, silver is currently $1.50 higher than we expected this year's high to be. Though, we have to state that we have said all along that if the COVID crisis worsens, then all estimates literally fall by the wayside. Now, in our gold forecast for the year, which we published back in February, we were expecting 1,800 gold, which at that time was high because gold was then in the mid-1500s. But we'd also stated a slight caveat and we thought it worth mentioning here, quote, however, we would not completely rule out $2,000 gold, especially if the coronavirus is not contained, or if the Iranian situation actually becomes substantially more active and serious, though in fairness we expect gold to finish the year closer to 1800 
Now that was way back in February, by which time the coronavirus had started, but was not deemed anywhere to be as serious as it is now or was subsequently. We then decided to look back at our predictions for 2019, because generally our calculations tend to be pretty accurate. And seeing silver jump to $23, as I say, even surprised us. And then we found the video that we produced in 2019, $1,800 gold and $22.50 $22 silver. Is this possible? Where we stated then that with a number of factors falling into place, even though gold at that time was 1527 and silver was 1764, it was possible that they could actually reach these higher levels. Okay, it didn't happen in 2019, but it most certainly has happened and been slightly surpassed in 2020. The reason we mention this is because these figures are not surprising to us. The issue, though, for us was the speed of the rise. Why did it all happen in one week or two weeks and also of course the fact that we still admittedly have some five months to go before the end of the year less than four months to go for the presidential election in fact just a little over three months to go for the presidential election all of which is likely to cause a degree of uncertainty and therefore could actually provide further stimulus for precious metal prices beyond the current price. Though, as you'll find shortly, we are expecting a slight pullback from current levels, at least short term. So, the point we're making is that to see gold and silver at current levels is not beyond our dreams or calculations. Perhaps the timing was out a little. However, any significant advance from here would be, admittedly, open about this, beyond what we ourselves were forecasting, except perhaps potentially gold hitting 2000. That said, the current level of stimulus and the deliberate devaluation of the US dollar, as we've experienced recently, is in extremis, frankly. And the continuing rise of COVID-19 cases in the US and around the world is creating yet more fear and uncertainty. And therefore, the obvious flight to gold and silver. So last week we saw gold rise over 5% while the dollar fell 1.75%. US yields have moved lower resulting in a weaker dollar and more impetus for gold prices. Friday's close for gold was an eight year high and literally within a handful of dollars of its all time high. Of course, we have reached all-time highs on several occasions in other currencies. The technicals suggest support close to the 10-day moving average of around $1,833, and medium-term momentum has turned positive, while short-term momentum has turned negative, with the RSI suggesting a potential correction. $1,912 is seen as the next resistance level just a handful away from the current price. Now, silver's advance has been tremendous and exhilarating. However, we suspect there may be a short-term pullback. And if there is, it will create a good buying opportunity if you are light in this precious metal. Now, we mentioned in our video on Thursday to expect a pullback on Friday, and this we did get. And we would not be surprised to see further pullbacks, certainly early in the week but we suspect they may, in fairness, be short-term. There is now considerable support at $20 and reasonable support just above the $21 level. And some analysts are in fact predicting silver reaching $25 with potentiality to $27 in the next couple of months, but with a hard resistance level of $25. The trend certainly continues to seem positive, as we must not forget that the equity markets themselves have remained robust. Just imagine what would happen to precious metals when equities seriously start to fall. 
if that were to happen. Now, last week we highlighted the main economic figures for the US, with the weekly jobless claims causing some concern. Market manufacturing and services flash PMIs were positive, and so too were existing home sales. However, there is a growing realisation that the jobs recovery is not going to be anywhere near or as fast or long term as President Trump had suggested. And we have frankly warned of this for weeks, stating it may take at least two to three years before the pre-COVID crisis job situation recovers, if it ever does. Early this coming week, Republicans will unveil their stimulus package proposal, which will then be debated as Friday's deadline nears for the expiration of enhanced unemployment benefits. Again, this additional spending, depending on the extent of it, could undermine the dollar further and act potentially again as a boost for precious metal prices. Now, looking at the economic data due to be announced in the United States, on Monday we have the durable goods orders for June and core capital goods orders also for June. On Tuesday we have the Com Consumer Confidence Index for July and on Wednesday advanced trading goods for June and the all-important FOMC announcement on interest rates. Thursday GDP for quarter two and the weekly jobless claims which will be watched very closely. Friday personal income for June, consumer spending for June, core inflation for June and the Consumer Sentiment Index for July. So a busy week for information, with all eyes on the FOMC announcement on Wednesday and all ears listening to Jerome Powell's comments afterwards. So what are we really going to expect to see this week in terms of gold and silver prices? Well, with the gold to silver ratio now at 83 to 1, we can see gold performing a little better than silver. We suspect that ratio will rise a little. We also suspect there may indeed be a correction of a dollar or two in silver during the week. But frankly, we have to make this very clear. The US economy and COVID-19 is moving from crisis to crisis. We've breached 60 million cases worldwide today and the US has had more than a thousand deaths per day for the past three days with 70,000 plus infections each day. And today looks like it will be very similar. Now tomorrow we shall elaborate further on what the Fed is likely to do on Wednesday. And we'll also comment on our gold and silver price expectations as we still have a few numbers to run. Notwithstanding this, as things stand at the moment, we would not be surprised to see silver weaken a little and gold strengthen a little. But tune in tomorrow and we'll have more of an updated perspective. So what do you think? Do share your thoughts. Thank you so much for listening, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell sign so that you're notified of our videos as and when they're published. Not forgetting, of course, that we update the Richard and Greg channel every few days, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to that one too. And another update will be added to that channel later tomorrow evening. We trust and hope you have an enjoyable and safe weekend and, as always, a prosperous week ahead. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative and if so, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Please ensure that you have subscribed to our channel and press the bell sign so that you are notified of any future videos. Also, kindly visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com and if you haven't already done so, Please subscribe either as a free or paying member for regular email updates and offers. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners. Thank <laughs> you.